Morning guys, how are we all doing today? And uh, I think I was a little bit eager yesterday saying that summer's here. I mean, it's a bit cloudy today. There's supposedly a chance of rain. I'm wearing a jumper. I don't have my lovely shorts on today. Looks like a fair few of you are enjoying those shorts. I call them my porno shorts purely because, well, if I squat down too low, everything shows, doesn't it? Anyway, enough of my shorts. Uh, today, we're gonna, I'm starting a little bit later today. I had to run a few errands this morning. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sort out the tiles that are stacked up on the roof. First off, I just I just want to make them safer, and then we're going to pay a bit of attention to the hopefully do some lead work on the base of that first dormer. So yeah, that being said, let's jump around the front and get started on sorting them tiles out. Oh yeah.
Well, and there we go. There's a bit of lead work done. Well, I'd say almost done. There's a few things. Uh, one, I, I haven't nailed any of these in or any of this lead. The only bit of lead I've nailed in is the three clouts on there. Um, so I know a few of you have been asking why haven't I nailed it in uh, because I'm just basically want to make sure that if there's anything that needs doing I'm going to do it before I nail it all in and luckily I did because obviously all this lead work. So one thing I don't didn't know how far to come over this way so I came over quite a lump um, probably trim that back if needs be but I mean I don't I don't mind that little bit sticking out it's, it's not the end of the world I know some people make it rounded to make it look a bit fancy but I'm not too fussed about that. Uh, this soaker here Evidently not nailed in. Now, I looked on on uh, Google and typed in dormer flashing and things like that, and loads of articles saying buy our lead corners, the fresh, the, the made up lead ones. But I'm not going to buy them. So this was the one. This was the cut that you saw on in the in the sh in the um, in the video, obviously over there on the GoPro that I I went with because it's the the cut that I saw most frequently. So I assumed that's how you did it. Um, Obviously you've seen how I put it in, so comments below please, let me know. Is this right? Is this wrong? What can I change? Etc, etc. Now, I'm quite happy with this. I'll probably trim this up a little bit because I'm going to have that cladding on here. I'm going to have it come right down as far as I can possibly come. Probably even right down to here. So I'm not too fussed about how they look because it's going to get covered up and I know that that's miles too much and this is a little bit much. From what my understanding is, uh, minimum of height is 75 mil and the minimum out this way is 150. So I did 180 and that's like whatever the rest of the load of lead was. I think it's about 200. So I know I've gone overboard with that, but I'd rather do that. I didn't really want to trim a little bit all the way off. I'd rather just stick it on and have, have a nice good upstand. So that's that's uh, that's that. This, this lead goes up to around about here and then I tuck it over the batten. I uh, had to knock the, uh, the hooks off a couple of these tiles so they go on, but it's sitting in fine now. So there we go, that is the lead. Obviously I need the plantation oil, plantation, whatever that oil is called. I'm obviously going to put that on. And um, yeah, so I don't, haven't nailed any of it in purely because I'm thinking I'd rather see what all you guys are saying before I commit and nail it in. So yeah, I'm pretty sure some of you have got a few things to say about this, whether it be positive or negative. Either way, we're all here to learn. And these soakers on the end here, I will most probably trim these down in line with that. So obviously the, the cladding will cover that. But yeah, so to some of you, this will probably be the worst thing you've ever seen. But I'm actually, do you know what? By the time that's oiled, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. This is coming from a guy who doesn't do lead work. I have got no claim to be very good at lead. But I'll tell you what, I think I've outdone myself. Though. I'm really happy with that. And I think that'll look nice with a bit of oil on it. The only one thing I'm a little bit miffed about is this one tire, I didn't cut the top down short enough, so it's a fraction long. I might knock that up. I don't really want to lift it up and change it, so that might end up staying there. But yeah, there we go. Bit of lead work for a Friday. Cool, yeah, all that lead work. I had to get my old head scratching and do a bit of Googling to sort all that out, but I think I got there in the end. Yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think. I'm probably going to hear both sides of the story. It's dreadful, it's really nice, either or. But, oh well, that's what we're here for. Hopefully, as I, as I keep saying to you all, the wise man learns from other people's mistakes. A foolish man learns from his own. So maybe I'm the foolish man and you can all be the wise men. So let's see how it goes. Right, okay. I need to uh, address two people. One, Mr. C Top 93 you wanted a shout out. You're over the pond in Ireland. How's it going? Hope you're doing well. And also, Dan Martin, yes, I couldn't agree more. You do need a shout out for all that advice you gave. Really appreciate it. So yeah, hope you two uh, enjoy your little shout outs. And I'll tell you what, from there, as it's Friday, we'll probably leave it there. So leave a like down below if you've enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you aren't already. And I will see you all Monday morning, bright and breezy, cups of tea in hand from Waterroof. So yeah, hope you have a great weekend. I'll see you then. Take care. Bye.